Well, good day, Model Rail Brothers. This weekend, and probably many other weekends coming to follow anyway, I'm going to be building a helix. First level has to go up 24 inches, and the next level has to go up 18 inches after that. So, how am I going about this? Well, you get some plywood, and what I did to start out with was I made a template with 28 inch curve radius and then a 26 inch curve radius inside of that. Did a full circle, cut that out, brought it in here, placed it on the table and made sure it fit and it did. So then we cut one down into quarter sections and we called this one a template. This way we get the same cut every time. So we start off by cutting a whole bunch of those. As you can see, got some underneath there. So I got about another three, four levels that I can do that we got pre-cut. And other things that I can pre-cut, I'm going up four inches at a time. So once you get the initial slope done, everything else is the same. So four inch blocks all the way around it. But the original coming up, you start at four inch, then you make another one at two inches, then you make one at an inch, and you just keep doing intervals in between all that, and those are your risers coming all the way up. And as you can see the way we're going about it, there's a joint here, so go like that, follow that around, and like I said I'm doing quarter sections to make a full section circle, there's a joint there, and like that. So, let me show you a little better. Okay, so starting out in the helix, you start with a piece of plywood flat, just like so. And quarter inch sections, I believe, I went up each time. You kind of get the idea. So you get all the way around and you're at four inches. So I'm just starting on the third level and it has been a treat. When people tell you you have to take your time building a model railroad and a layout, well a helix is a prime example of that. So when you're doing the helix you put your wood down like so and I will probably put three sections down and then you got to put the cork road bed on top of that keeping in mind your radiuses that you want. So you mark those out. And then you gotta let the cork dry. Once the cork's dry, now you can start laying your track. Well, let me tell you, laying track on a helix is a treat. You think you have to take particular protect attention because you want it to be perfect, because you're never gonna get to this again. So you gotta stagger your joints, and keep your radius going at a constant 28 and 26. Fun stuff. Now how do I get that? Well, okay, so when trying to make the perfect radius, I went to Otter Valley, OVRtrains.com, and I picked up a whole bunch of track guides. Everywhere from 30 inch radius, 24 inch radius, 32 inch radius, even a 10 inch straight piece just to keep all my straight tracks nice and straight. But today, using the 26 and the 28, very simple to use. Grab your piece of flex track and start here in the corner. And it snaps right into the track just like that. Voila. Flip this around so you guys can see it a little bit better. Start with a bit of a turn radius on it. And then you just push this through. out the other side and micro engineering track pretty much keeps its form so that starts it now I can take that over and start laying it down on the helix so see you over there so that 28 inch section that we just did bring that in lay it where you're starting to do your track do 
to your joints. Then you can just mold that right into place. And you just continue on. Like I said, the biggest thing with the Helix guys is you just got to take your time. Test every level when you're doing this kind of thing. So always have a train ready to go. Running both up and down because you're going to want to do both. So is mine working? Well, let's take a look. So like I said, guys, when you're building the Helix, test, test, test. Every time that you put in a couple sections of track, let it dry and then run a train over it. Make sure that all your joints are good, your track's good, you don't have any kinks in it, and you're still engaged. GP38, let's see if she makes it up to the top. Thirty speed steps. This is when you guys want to catch all your mistakes while the track is here and open so you can get to it. Well, we made it up on the outside line. But if you get a derail or anything now, very easy to cut out a section of track, loosen up the glue, remold it, resolder it, do what you got to do. So that's what I've been up to for the last week and a half. And it's probably what I'm going to be up to for the next Oh, I'd say at least three, four weeks. Building a helix. Any questions, guys, leave them in the comments, and I will try to answer them for you. He said, this isn't a how-to video. This is just a what I've been up to video. Until later on, guys. We'll talk later. Bye for now. So we're going to keep on going. We tested that. Locomotive weighted up on 26 and 28 and back down. So we're good. So we put more wood down and we put the cork on it. We'll have to wait for the cork to dry and then start laying some more track. So I guess this has been one weekend three days total and got quite a bit to go so this is what we're doing take it easy guys and talk to you all later on bye for now